I'll share with you a real life story that happened at our time. A man who went to the work in the Gulf countries in Emirates for years, 20 years. Very poor to begin with, he became wealthy. His father was a very righteous man. He used to be the Imam. This is a real life story, it's not a sci-fi. So the man after accumulating all his wealth, he sent to his father, my father, I want to get married. A lot of the years passed by without getting married. Now it's the time. And I want you to choose a wife for me. And I want you to go ahead and put the marriage contract together. And I want to go into the actual marriage, the wedding day. I want it to be the day that I arrive and I don't want to see her. This is how much trust this man, this young man had in his father. Of course, a righteous man knows that the Prophet wasallam said a woman is asked in marriage for four reasons. Wealth, beauty, lineage, and the deen. You better go for the deen. He chosen a quality religious woman, wife for his son, but yet her physical appearance was not the best. The son arrives to Egypt at the airport. He's backed up and he is taken to his wife who was wearing a veil and then basically he got into the room with her alone. As soon as she unveiled herself, he became shocked. He became shocked. This is the wife that my father chose for me. She's not beautiful. She's not beautiful. He became so depressed. Here I am coming after all these years. So excited, so excited. He became so depressed. So he slept. Towards the last third of the night, the wife who understood the reaction of the husband, she tried to wake him up. He refused. She tried again. He refused. And then she sprinkled water on him to wake him up. So he waked up and she spoke to him and she said, I know how much disappointed you are. And I understand I'm not beautiful. But you know what? I wished to get married for one reason. I wanted to implement the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he said, Rahim Allahum Rajulan, may Allah have mercy on a man who wakes up to pray at night and then he would wake up his wife. And if she does not wake up, Nadaha Alayha al ma he would sprinkle water on her to wake up. And this is the segment that she wanted to implement. A wife. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on a woman. Grant his mercy to a wife who wakes up to pray tahajjud at night. And she wakes her husband up to pray with her. And if he does not wake up, she sprinkles water in him. Wallahi. I'm so grateful to you that you granted me that wish. I wanted to implement that hadith so much and I was a little bit hopeless that I will get married because I know I'm not beautiful. Can you please now fulfill the rest of this hadith with me? Can you wake up and just lead me in salah? Pray tahajjud with me. He waked up and he led her in Salah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, this man swears by Allah that as soon as he ended his tahajjud, leading her in Salah, I looked at her 
as if I'm looking at the most beautiful women in this world. That's the way it goes, Akhi. Don't be deceived by all these soap operas and movies. The love gets to the heart because of Allah. Allah can make you love your husband, but you and your husband obey Allah. Lead your wives in salah. Have your husbands lead you in salah at night. This family, brothers and sisters in Islam, they have grandchildren who memorize the Quran and they are students of knowledge and some of them are about to be scholars of this ummah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, don't compromise nor test the commands of Allah. If you want to live happily like they say in the movie ever after, marriage is a tough institution. Enough that shaitan every day places the crown on the head of a shaitan who separates a husband and wife. You need a good partner for the mission and the quality that you must seek righteousness and piety and if you do you will get the best of this dunya and bi idnillah ta'ala you will be with your reformed husband and reformed wife azwaj al-mutahhara purified spouses in jannah